Hello everyone. This is Dr. Zaidi. Welcome to my YouTube channel ZTube. Today we are going to discuss the two ways to calculate the number of equivalent units using the weighted average method. In our first way, we are going to combine beginning inventory working process and started and completed units as a completed and transferred out. In the second way, we are going to format it in a FIFO format, which is expanding completed and transferred out as a beginning inventory working process and is started and completed. So let's start with the problem and now. So the uh, question discusses Z Corporation adds all material at the beginning of the process. Z had 40,000 units, 25% completed at the beginning of the period, 100,000 units were started during the period. 20,000 units were 10% completed at the end of the periods. Calculate the whole units and calculate the equivalent units. So now we are using the weighted average method in this example, and we are going to do it in two different ways. So let's do it whole units. Now whole units stays the same whether you're doing FIFO method or weighted average method. So the beginning inventory is provided. The whole units we have are 40,000 units in the beginning working process and it started during the period we have 100,000 units that we start during the period. So that adds up to so cell C7 plus cell C8 adds up to 140,000 those are total units to account for. Okay now, next we move on to completed and transferred out during the current period. Now, we don't have that information available. If you have watched my other pencast um, that provides you the formula method or the algebraic equation method, uh, you will know how to calculate the completed and transferred out during the period using those equations. Okay, so here we have to go backwards. Now, here we have the ending inventory provided, the ending inventory is 20,000 units. So we have that information. What also we have is the total units to account for that we just calculated, 140,000. So total units to account for, four is also equal to total units accounted for. So that's gonna be 140,000. So if we have those two pieces of information, we can go back and we can calculate the completed during the current period. So now 140,000 total units accounted for minus the ending work in process 20,000. That will give you a total of 120,000 units that are completed and transferred out during the period. So we are going backwards, okay? Now we move on to the direct material, the equivalent units for direct material, completed and transferred out during the current period because you completed everything and you transferred out. So it's completed 100% in terms of direct material when you do FIFO method. So 120,000, all of them. And for conversion cost also stays the same, 120,000, okay? We come back to the next step where we calculate the equivalent units for the ending working process. Now it says that the ending working process is 10% completed. The ending working process is 10% completed, but if you look at the question, it says Z Corporation adds all materials at the beginning of the process. So the beginning of the process is when it's a zero percent and you already moved to 10%. That means all the materials has been added. So 100% of the material is added. So we are going to add all 100%, which is 20,000 here. Now in terms of work in process, it says 10% completed. So only 10% completed during this period. So we are going to multiply this by 10% or 0.1 times we times 20,000, which is cell C13. Okay, that will give you the number of equivalent units for the conversion uh, in the ending working process for conversion cost. And now we calculate a total. So for the direct material, uh, that's going to be your cell D12 and cell D13. And for conversion cost is going to be your cell E12 and E13. 
So that's one way to do weighted average method where you are going to use completed and transferred out during the current period and the work in process ending. Now, another way to do weighted average method is the way you do FIFO method format, right? So if you look at this, the heading says weighted average method in a FIFO method format. So if you, if you are uncomfortable doing two different ways, then you can just learn to do it in the FIFO method format, which is what we are going to do here is we are going to split completed and transferred out during the current period into the beginning work in process and started and completed. Remember, if you haven't watched my uh, video related to the formula method or the algebraic e uh, equations, then go back and review them because that will tell you that completed and transferred out is equal to your beginning work in process plus started and completed, okay? So now we come back here again, we have a beginning work in process given, which is 40,000, right? So that information is coming from there. We have the ending work in process given, which is 20,000, okay? And then units accounted for, we calculated in units to account for in part one here when we calculated whole units, 140,000. 140,000. So now we can back solve it for the units started and completed. So if we subtract 40,000 and 20,000 from 140,000, we'll get 80,000. So 140 minus 20 will be 120. And again, minus 40 will be 80,000. So we are back solving. Again, watch my video related to the formula method or the algebraic equations. If, if you I don't know how to proceed with this step. Okay, so that's our whole units, 140,000, the total. Now, from beginning work in process, is 25% completed. Now, because we are doing the weighted average method, we are going to disregard what percent is completed in the beginning work in process. That's the difference between FIFO method and the weighted average method is that that the FIFO assumes that whatever is completed in the prior period, we are not going to work on that, we are going to work on the remaining. Whereas weighted average says that if it's sitting in the beginning inventory, even if it's not completed, you are still going to consider as you, have, you are working during the current period. So because we are doing weighted average method, we are going to take 100% 100 of 140,000, which is 40,000. And we'll do same thing for our conversion cost, 100%, 40,000, all right? We'll do same thing with the started and completed, 100%, because those units are started during the period and also completed. So that means they are completed 100% in terms of direct material and completed 100% in terms of uh, conversion cost, 80,000. So if you look at right here, what we had here is 120,000 completed and transferred out during the period and 120,000 in conversion cost. And if you add these two together, that's completed and transferred out, 120,000 is same thing, right? So what we did here, uh, instead of combining it together, we split it into two, into the beginning work in process and it started and completed. Otherwise it's the same. All right, the ending work in process is 10% completed, but because we add material at the beginning of the process, so 100% material is added. So again, we are going to do 100% of that, that's 20,000. And then the ending work in process is 10% completed during this period, so equals to 0 0.10 times your cell number C21. Okay, now we are going to add everything here so your direct material equivalent units would be sum of you are in d19 d19 through d21 okay same thing we do this either you can drag this right here 
So it's 122,000 and you can re-enter the formula. So if you look at that, whether you use um, the, the, the first method that the you know, weighted average method in a completed and transferred out during the current period way or weighted average method in a FIFO method format, either way you will get the same equivalent units, 140,000 for direct material and 122,000 for conversion costs. So you can choose whichever you, uh, whichever method you are comfortable with. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe my channel for live updates and other videos.